Hello, I'm Kevin Benedict, Enterprise Mobility Analyst and SAP Mentor. I want to welcome you and thank you for joining us today. I have with me as guest, Apachetta's CEO, Don Grust. Welcome, Don. Thanks, Kevin. Now, uh, you've been in the industry for some time. I was reading through your bio, so it looks like 28 years of experience in the high tech, many of which, probably the majority of those years, you've been involved in wireless and the mobile computing part of that industry. So let me ask you a question here. Um, what has happened in the industry over perhaps the last couple of years that may be a surprise to you? If I would have asked you that same question five years ago, what would have happened since then that surprises you? I think the uh, I think one of the biggest things is the consumerization of the enterprise uh, mobile enterprise IT. Uh, I live by the credo that a lot of the um, a, a lot of the direction was always from the enterprise into uh, into the consumer space, but that's been uh, turned on its head completely. You know what? I think any of us that have been in the uh, mobile industry for a decade or more have that same feeling. You know, we used to be able to dictate where mobility was going. And then somehow we lost control, Don. Right, right. <laughs> Makes it fun. Keeps it fun. So let me ask you, what mobile device do you carry? Well, I uh, carry a BlackBerry and an Android. A Blackberry? In Android, do you have any tablets? I'm sorry? Do you have any tablet computers? Uh, not right now. We do have one in the office that I steal every once in a while that we're uh, doing for development. All right. Getting there. Very good. So what recent developments in the enterprise mobility industry do you find most interesting? Um, well, like I said, uh, Earlier, it is the consumerization of, uh, of mobile IT that uh, that I find very interesting. It's impacting uh, a lot of the markets that we're in, uh, such as field service um, and uh, the in the consumer goods space with pre-sale and uh, and merchandising type of uh, applications. And uh, you know, seeing the uh, the IT groups being uh, Turned, turned around having to figure out how to support that and in turn uh, creates a great opportunity for, for us. So you say it's the consumerization of the enterprise is having a big impact on you, but in, in what ways, Don? Um, so in terms of uh, uh, enabling our software to, uh, to support these different devices, uh, that's, the, that's the biggest thing and, uh, and staying ahead of that. Okay. So today we have uh, originally in our space, uh, we tend to uh, sell to a lot of the um, uh, more what I would call traditional blue collar vertical type businesses, such as field service, transportation, and uh, and in the consumer goods market. Okay. Uh, or delivery, and traditionally those were a lot of Windows based ruggedized uh, devices. And I think what you're seeing is uh, a lot of people who, outside of work, are carrying these, carrying Android, carrying iPhones, and uh, and the like, and seeing that, gee, why can't I have uh, this kind of uh, user experience? Why can't I have this great screen? Why can't uh, you know I have all this uh, capability uh, in, in my work application as well? And so we're seeing uh, the business, we're seeing the business side, and we're seeing uh, even the user side begin to push the IT forward. And again, that trickles back to us in terms of uh, of creating requirements for for uh, delivering to those needs. Got it. And before we jump into some more in-depth questions about Ap Apacheta, and by the way, Apacheta is spelled A P A. C H E T A, like Apache with T A on the end. That's so, right. uh, just so people Apichetta, know, that are listening. people will ask. Apacheta is the uh, source of the uh, Amazon River, which the locals describe as the source of good things to come. Ah, I can see the relation. Very good. 
So let me ask you another warm-up question here, Don. Do you have any predictions for the mobile industry? Um, you know, having been in this space for a long time, and, I, and again, I, I focus my predictions on the, uh, on the mobile enterprise space. Um, and what, what I think is, uh, is we've been seeing a slow but continuous growth of the industry. And, you know, I, I'd like to come and provide some great, uh, some great uh, predictions of some, you know, hot new technologies or things that are all of a sudden going to create that hockey stick growth in the mobile enterprise. But I think the complexity of a lot of those uh, mobile apps uh, and requirements uh, means that uh, the, con the industry is going to continue uh, to, to grow, but at a strong linear growth rate. So okay. I guess my prediction is, <laughs> is more of the same. You know, uh, let's not uh, look too far ahead for the, uh, for the hockey stick. That said, you know, I view it as, as like a snowball that's continuing to roll down the hill and continuing to gain speed and continue to get bigger. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. Um, Apicheta, it looks like from reading about your company, is heavily involved in cloud computing around enterprise mobility and your field services offering. What is the value proposition from, for building your applications in the cloud? Well, for cloud uh, computing, the uh, the ROI really is around lowering the, lowering the investment for companies, um, enabling you know, small and mid-sized companies to get the same kind of solutions that the large guys get, uh, uh, and you know lowering the overall upfront cost. That said, we we do have a we continue to have a uh, an enterprise. Uh, version of our software that we deploy on premises, okay. and we're seeing a mix of interest. Uh, um, it's been interesting. You know, we introduced the cloud uh, solution, our SaaS model, about uh, a year and a half ago. And originally, we thought, okay, it's only going to be the small and medium uh, type businesses. But we're seeing some large companies have interest uh, a lot more than. Uh, than we had uh, projected initially. It's always a good thing. Um, but that said, a number of the large companies still insist on having it uh, deployed on their own servers. Yeah, you know, in my own personal research here at Mobile Enterprise Strategies, um, it, is, it shows up on the surveys that we take and some of the interviews we do that line of businesses um, so the lines of business seem to be able to purchase things today, but the corporate or the, the central IT is still struggling to put together an overall IT strategy around enterprise mobility. So things slow down at the corporate level, but at the line of business, these guys are buying and they're going to have smaller budgets and they have a sense of urgency. So I personally have seen a, a big jump and line of business just going out and looking for kind of cloud-based solutions that will fix what they need without requiring a lot of central IT uh, activity or decision-making or involvement. Right. Yeah, Do you see some things, Don? Yeah, we're definitely seeing some of that. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I also – do see that the enterprises are getting a little, are, are a lot, spending a lot more time trying to figure out uh, one step at a time in terms of uh, of their own mobility strategies. Um, you know, starting with just being able to manage those devices that are coming in, struggling with the question of whether to, you know, require any device into the enterprise or or only a limited number, and balancing that against the support requirements. On top of that, I, I think companies are beginning to take a broader view in terms of uh, application platforms that they might use um, in order to address in, uh, um, uh, a broader set of solutions. Okay. So, you know, on the one hand, they might take a tactical move where they, they might say, okay, this solves my problem today, uh, let's get it done, but at the same time, we're having a lot more conversation about uh, you know, how um, 
solutions, how our solution in, in particular can be used across multiple roles and, uh, and uh, so they don't have to deal with multiple